Network function virtualization gives us the capability to automatically deploy and scale a network. In this demonstration, or actually a live proof of concept, we're showing how I can order a service up front. A customer can come in and log in through the internet and order a service such as voice over IP or call center. And what happens underneath that's orchestrated down into the network to take elements like a session border controller or core session management for an IMS system and build that automatically into a network, basically building a network from scratch on top of an IP core network. So in order to show this, I log in into my account, US Enterprise Telecom, and I bring up a map of where I have data centers where I can deploy my virtual network functions. In these data centers, I have resources. I can create things. Uh, I can create services, and I'll add a service name. This service name is going to be voice over IP. And at this point, I would give the necessary parameters. I want to connect here San Francisco to Dallas to Chicago. And as you see, as I connect these, I also see the price points of how much this will cost. I have the capability at this point also to make adjustments here. Say my San Francisco is just a, a monitoring uh, facility. I can change that from 100, 100 megabytes per second down to 10. And that also changes my price point as well. I can also change it from best effort to maybe business effort or voice or mission critical, in which case, my price points also change, reflecting the resources that need to be deployed to build out my network. Once I'm happy with what I've ordered here, I go to the next screen. What we've ordered, essentially, is a substrate of an IP network that connects these cities together, routers, firewalls, and so forth, which will be deployed as VNFs, or virtual network functions, in my NFE network. Once they're deployed, I can layer on top of that a whole bunch of value-added services. I can put direct internet access, web hosting, email addressing, any number of services that you would typically find in an IP network. For this example, I want to add voice over Wi-Fi calling. So again, a simple click here shows me my price point per month and how much I'll be paying. Now I'll go ahead and qualify this. This is going in and checking our inventory to make sure that I can take those software assets and load them onto my hardware. I see also see that this is, can be done successfully. I have the hardware, I have the software in place. This is about the, how much time it will take, 10 minutes, and, uh, and the quote, and now I'm ready to take my credit card out and pay. But before I do that, since it takes over 10 minutes to show, what I will show here is how my network function is deployed across the orchestration, the VNF manager, and the VIM infrastructure. First off, showing that nothing is running in the network. I'm taking a look at pretty much under the hood of the car and seeing that there's no processes running. I can even go up to the very top level of the network uh, NFE orchestrator and see nothing's running here. One step down, my VNF manager, we see it's empty, and then I look at my network myself through my Vim or my virtual infrastructure manager through OpenStack and see my networks are disjointed here, they're not connected. Now, what I've essentially done here is I've ordered from the very top a voice over Wi-Fi service through any multi-channel access and we're tying this together through service and network orchestration. So let's go ahead and order that service and kick it off. The order is now being received. I can now see it, it's received here. I'm now connecting the cities. I'm laying out my IP substrate. I'm putting my routers in place. I can check, even see, under the hood, I've received my commercial events. I've broken that down to my service order, my technical orders. I'm starting to fire off the commands into the network to go ahead and build out my, uh, my virtual private network or, or my uh, my IP core. I even issued the command to go ahead and create for me my voice over Wi-Fi service as a VNF uh, through my orchestrator, down through my VNF manager, and into the network itself. 
We can go further look at this. I can take a look at the very top layer and do another search on that name of that service and receive status. I see that I am now pending at the very top, that voice over Wi-Fi service. I'll go one layer down into my VNF manager, refresh the screen and see that my session border controller that does my voice over Wi-Fi is being deployed. And lastly, I'll take a look at my very bottom layer and see that my networks are being connected here. I'm toggling on my labels, and I can see the name of my session border controller is connected. It's connected my three networks together, and it's building my new voice over Wi-Fi service between those, those three cities, those three sites. I can even take one further look and see if I want to open up my virtual infrastructure manager and see the actual commands going down, I can get to this level and see how that session border controller is being deployed on a step-by-step -step basis. And now we wait 10 minutes and we'll have a voice over IP service running for us. Now we've deployed the virtual network function, the session border controller that connects our network. We see we're up and running and now I can make a phone call and now we're making a phone call, a voice over IP phone call into the network. So what I showed you was the capability of a customer to come in through the internet, order a service, in this case a voice over Wi-Fi service, it could be for their enterprise, for their company, through any type of channel. We take that order, break it down into a service and network orchestration, pass that on to our network function virtualization orchestrator, who then gives the command to the virtual network function manager to go ahead and deploy a virtual network function into the network through the virtual infrastructure manager essentially taking our session border controller, deploying that, connecting up our service into the cloud, and now we have voice over IP in the cloud.